Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is uncrossed lines. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, we write the integers of A and B which are given lines or you can say given lists in the order they are given on two separate horizontal lines. Now, we may draw connecting lines a straight line connecting two numbers ai and bj such that ai is equal to bj and the line we draw does not intersect any other connecting non horizontal line note that a connecting line cannot intersect even at end points each number can only belong to one connecting line written the maximum number of connecting lines we can draw in this way this question same something familiar and if you look at example number one we have one four two and one two four and we are making a connection one and one and then we are making a connection between four and four and we are not making a connection between two and two because it is mentioned in the question that the connecting lines cannot intersect so let's move on to pen and paper let's see how we can solve this question after that we will see the code I have taken the example given in the question and this question is similar to longest common subsequence question and we will use dynamic programming to solve this question and what we need to simply do here is we need to make some connections and how we are making connection we are making the connection in equal values but we are also given with one condition the condition is that connecting lines cannot intersect that 1 and 1 can connect 4 and 4 can connect but after connecting 4 and 4 I can not connect 2 and 2 because it will intersect the line alright so now the question is how to solve this question so we will going to do the same exact thing we did in longest common subsequence and if I say instead of hanging 1 here what if I had 1 here that means I would have made a connection here instead of here what if I had 1 here I would have made connection here so in this way if I take out the old potential connections then one place can connect to three places in the same way if I take out the potential connection of every single element they can be for this particular scenario they can be nine connections because I have two lines of three and three so in the most question in which we are tackling two arrays and we are matching some elements in that case we take matrix and how we take that matrix that I have 1 4 2 and I have 1 2 and 4 I'm going to fill 0 0 and I will fill entire matrix with 0 and 0 now if I say that I have only this matrix or you can say again with just two lines one and one so how many connection I can make here I can only make one connection so all right I added one and where, from where I am taking this one so suppose what if here at only zero so because I am starting from zero initially it does not have any connections so that means zero so what I am taking I am taking the value from the previous column all right what if I had 1 4 and 1 in this also I have only one connection 1 and 1 all right so we have one connection all right now you might be assuming how will I come to know that I have one connection in the code over here we will talk about it let's see another example what if I had 1 4 2 and 1 that means this here also I just have one man which is 1 and 1 so again it will remain 1 so what are the takeaways from here that if it matches I will take the value from the previous diagonal and if it does not match 
I will take the value from previous column. All right. So for now, these are the two takeaways. And if you need to modify these rules, we will check later on while moving forward. So all right. Now if I say, what if I have one, two, and one? So here also, I have only one connection. Okay. I write down one but again now the question is from where I am taking this one so I am taking this one from upper row so now we were writing that we will going to take the value from the previous column but we found that we can also take a value from previous row all right so we have modified our rules now the question is which value to take what if I had a value in the previous row and I also have the value in previous column? Then I will going to take the maximum of previous row and previous column. Now what if I had 1, 2 and 1, 4? Again, there is no match. So I will take the maximum value from previous column and previous row and that is 1. So it will remain one and this is true if i take one four and one two there is only one connection that is one and one all right so let's move forward so now what if i have one four two and one two in this case again one connection i have one and one and second connection i have two and two so okay now I got a connection. So what I will going to do, I will take the value from the previous diagonal and I will add one to that. So now it became two. All right. Now what if I have one and one, two, four. So now one and one matches, one and two does not match, one, four does not match. That means I will going to take the maximum value from previous column and previous row and that will come to one. And 4 and 4 are matching. So I will take the value from the previous diagonal and I will add 1 to that. All right, it will turn up to 2. Now, if I say I have 1, 2, 4 and 1, 4, 2. So we are done with this thing and we are just left with 4 and 2. So if I talk about 2 and 4, they are not matching. So in that case, what I am going to do? I will take the maximum previous row and previous column, which is 2. So I filled it with 2. At end the end, I will simply return 2. So let's see another example. So the second example given in the question is 2, 5, 1, 2, 5 and 10, 5, 2, 1, 5. And our rules were, if, you, if it will match, I will take from previous diagonal plus 1. Else, maximum of previous row or previous column. So, alright. While moving in this line, 10, 2 does not match. So, I add 0 and 0, so it will remain 0. 10 and 5 does not match, it will remain 0. 10 and 1 does not match, it will remain 0. 10, 2 does not match, remain 0. All right. Now I come to this line. Now it does not match. I will take the maximum of previous row and previous column, that is 0, it will remain 0. Now 5 and 5 match. So this is our first match. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the value of previous diagonal and I will add 1 to that. So previous diagonal is 0 and I will add 1 to that. It will become 1. So so 5 and 1 does not match. I will take the value from previous round previous column Th that is 1. 5 and 2 does not match. So again I will take the value from the previous round previous column and I will take maximum of that. It will come up 1. Now 5 and 5 match. Now I will take the value from the previous diagonal 
so i will take 0 plus 1 it will 1 because if i take 2 5 1 2 and 10 and 5 the only connection i can make either between these 5 and 5 and either between these 5 and 5 i cannot make two connection with 1 5 so that's why we have one all right so now we will see in this line two and two matches so i will take the previous diagonal which is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 now 2 and 5 it does not match i will take the maximum previous row and previous column that is 1 same goes with 2 and 1 2 and 2 they are matching so what i am going to do i am going to take the value of previous diagonal and i will add 1 to that it will become 2 all right so let's see it with the example so we have 2 5 1 2 5 and 10 5 2 so so one one connection connection i I made here and one connection I made here here and so we have two connection till here yes we have two connection till here all right so let's move forward 2 and 5 does not match i will take maximum of previous row and previous column that is 2 and i will fill 2 there and we can clearly see if we have these two lines we only have two connections so let's see this line again it's not making any new connection so it will remain 1 5 and 5 it will remain 1 5 and 1 it will remain 1 1 and 1 so again i will take the value from the previous column and i will add 1 to that it will be again 2 1 and 2 again maximum of previous row and previous column 1 and 5 maximum of previous row and previous column now we come to this line now 2 and 5 does not match maximum of previous row and previous column 1 5 and 5 matches i will take the value from the previous diagonal and i will add 1 to that it will become 2 again 5 and 1 does not match maximum of previous row and previous column 5 and 2 does not match maximum previous row and previous column all right 5 and 5 they matches so i will take the previous row and previous column and i will add 1 to that now it became 3 so let's again see it with the example so we have 2 5 1 2 5 10 5 so i made one connection here i made one connection here and i made one connection here so we have three connection so all right we have three connections so now we come to this line now again two and two matches all right i will take the value from the previous diagonal and i i will add one to that so 0 plus 1 is 1 because we don't have any previous diagonal here if i don't fill it with 0 so if i have 0 then also it will become 1 so now 2 and 5 does not make any new connection so maximum previous row and previous column that is 2 2 and 1 does not make any new connection so maximum value from previous row and previous column 2 2 and 2 make a connection so what i will going to do i will take the previous diagonal and i will add 1 to that so 3 2 and 5 does not make any new connection so i will take the previous row and previous column and i will take the maximum of that that is done. Three, and if I write down them here, two five one two five, and ten five two one five two, there are only three connection I can make here, and at the end we are turning it to three. So this is the way we can solve this question. So let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem. So let's see the code. At line number three and at line number four, I taken the length of A and B. Then I made a a matrix called D P, in which I have filled everything with zero. And the size of the matrix is length of A plus one and length of B plus one. And then I am taking a for loop. If the value of A I is equal to B J, that means I am going to take the value from the previous diagonal and I will add one to that. Else. i am going to take the value of previous row and previous column and i will take maximum of that and we have seen this thing 
very clearly in the pen and paper session and at the end i'm simply returning the value of last row and last column so let's see whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the code for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe